What's up, y'all? So, um, I'm just making this little clip at the beginning of this video for everything I'm putting into this video to say that um, the pre the, the clips that I'm going to have throughout this video are from like three or four different days. Um, three days of going to Point of Rocks separately, um, snorkeling and just looking along the beach for stuff. And then um, I did a trash walk the other day as well. And I'm just going to add some pictures in at the end of um, the buckets of stuff that I found just along the dunes and just along the beaches, um, along the beach and on Siesta Key. So um, this is just to explain that it's from it's from various days. And I, I said in the videos um, for each day that it was uh, from like specific days and stuff like that and that I'd be posting the next day. But um, this is like a week later uh, from like the first video that I made for like this whole video that I put together. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you like it, please like, share, and subscribe, and um, enjoy the video. How's it going, everybody? My name is Danny. Um, again, I was out at uh, on Siesta Key around the Point of Rocks area, just snorkeling around. It was like a southwest wind. Um, I think it was like 10 to 15 mile an hour winds and then the water was pretty rough so everything was being pushed in. Um, but luckily uh, the water was kind of clear still. It's just, we just gotta wait for that day that it's like an east wind where it just makes it flat and it just kind of pushes it over. Um, but it was, it was still pretty cool. There weren't many people out doing, you know, snorkeling or looking around for much, but I found some cool stuff and I'll show you guys right now what I found. Uh, the coolest thing I found was probably this big lightning whelk. Um, I don't know how big this is, probably probably a foot, probably a foot long, but it's an okay shape. It's got like some crustacean things on the top right here. Um, I'll be able to take that off. I'm able to take some of that off with my finger right now, but super clean. The inside of that's like super cleaned out. Nothing living in it, just found it empty. Um, yeah, so that's always cool to find these. I, I always just put them in a little pile right next to my apartment got a big horse concrete there another lightning whelk you can just see like this one i just found compared to some of them in the past that i've found it's it's close in size kind of um these two are pretty big but yeah cool find right there for sure and then find some more dugong rib bone fragments um these are extinct species of the manatee family i believe and it's just rib they're, they're rib bones that are fossilized and it's just pieces of them but a little pile of those those are cool those are a dime a dozen if you know what you're looking for and you're out in the right spots um you'll definitely find a bunch of those found a piece of uh like a sea plant or something i don't know much about the the sea life here but it's like it's like purple i don't know if you can see it super well but it's got like a really pretty color to it so i'll probably just put that in a vase and display that that's a pretty cool piece found some sunglasses that are complete um there's no like name brands on these. They're just knockoffs, but they're complete, which is pretty cool. Um, these are girl sunglasses and reading glasses for a girl. And then I don't know if these are guys, like kids glasses or something, but kind of cool. Uh, find a tulip, lightning whelk, fighting cock. This one's pretty nice. In good shape. The only like nice shell outside of all these giant cockles that I found that I'm gonna keep, but these are all pretty cool. Um, I've showed these in my previous videos, but find them all clean out. No marine life living in any of them, either the original owner or like a random, like an octopus or something. I try to find cover in these during like a tropical storm system or a hurricane, but yeah, nothing living in any of these. Found them clean out. Big piece of coral, which is pretty cool. Um, a bunch of trash too, so big like PVC pipe um, that was in the sand. You could see where it was in the, I guess the clean part would have been in the sand and the algae would have been like, the part that was sticking out so i just saw a little bit and i grabbed it with my hand and just pulled it out it's able to wiggle it it was between rocks and from this piece pretty close to it as well i don't know if this would used to be um, for like a fishing pole you could put in to something like those pipes where you could put the fishing pole in there'd be a piece on the middle on the inside and then uh, it would hold the fishing rod up um i don't know if that's what that is but good to get that out of the golf found a bunch of other little pieces of trash miller light or mick ultra i think it says bottle cap and just um, can slaw just pieces of can um, fruit snack wrapper pieces of can this is an older can I guess this would probably be from like the <clears throat> 70s or something just 
do not litter right there. Please don't litter. Nice. <laughs> and then just glass, goggles, more can. This one probably was thrown in the golf just like yesterday or something. It's not as like messed up as some of these where the the label is all messed up and starting to fade. But yeah, other bottles. Um, it's like to a pitcher, which is kind of cool. I don't know how old this would have been. The glass looks pretty old, but I don't know if you can see the color on that. It's pretty insane, but pretty cool looking. Um, just a big handle to a pitcher or something. Good to, good to get that out of the golf. Um, that's pretty much it. Just a bunch of other trash. Um, plastic silverware. Pieces of crab trap that are like down here, these big pieces. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys liked the video, and uh, I'll try to start making these videos a little bit longer and edit a little bit more so that they're better made because I know that these are super simple the way I'm doing this but I like it simple um hope you guys like the video if you liked it um like and subscribe because I'm going to keep posting videos like this and just stuff that I come across when I go to the golf um whether it's in Sarasota or if I go down to Venice I'm looking for shark teeth and mammoth teeth and fossilized alligator teeth and all types of stuff but yeah, hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Uh, my name is Danny. I live here in Sarasota, Florida. I went out to Point of Rocks on Siesta Key the last couple days, um, Saturday and then Friday, just the last couple days before this video was made, and uh, found a bunch of stuff. I didn't think that I'd be finding this much stuff this time of year from... <clears throat> like no storms happening or really any like strong currents pushing and pulling things um, just like shells and trash and all types of cool stuff but um, actually found a lot of stuff got a bunch of trash out of the ocean um, found some really big seashells found some other cool stuff and I'll go over that right now with you guys you guys will like what I found the best stuff that I found was definitely found a $20 bill under a rock that was uh it's probably like a hundred yards out from the beach and like six to seven feet deep. And I only saw like, I only saw like that much sticking out of the rock, but was like pretty high up cause I was snorkeling and I was hoping that it'd be all there and it was. So 20 bucks is pretty sweet. Able to find that, found a couple pairs of sunglasses. They're not name brand or anything like that. They're knockoffs, but still pretty cool to find sunglasses found a bunch of weights um there's a spot where uh, a bunch of the sand just got pulled and pushed and stuff until it was just uh, rock bottom um and it was pretty cool because it was just sitting essentially right on top of the ocean floor so cool to get those out of the ocean um be able to find that that you know when, where you find sinkers and heavy stuff like that on the ocean floors where you can find coins and jewelry and stuff like that too the heavy stuff that settles so um, I was fanning that whole spot and just came across just sinkers. Um, still, still cool to come across stuff like that. Cause it's not that it's hard to find the spots that are like ocean floor and rock, rock bottom. Cause otherwise you'd be fanning all day to get to spots like that. But it was cool to find some sinkers, found a little tulip. Um, ooh, little olive. It's actually really nice. Thought I just cut myself. And then I don't know what this is called, but really pretty orange seashell. And then found a couple dugong rib boat fragments that are pretty big. This one again is as big as the palm of my hand. It's a big piece. Got another one right there. And then got an old fishing reel. Got a small little lightning whelk like you guys have seen in my videos before if you've watched them. They're, I only keep the best of the best and these are, this one's in pretty good shape except for like the bottom part right there. So cool little lightning whelk. Got a little bracelet right there. Kids bracelet. Action figure. I don't know who this is. You gotta see. Uh... Just says Marvel on it. I don't know who this is, but cool to find little toys like that. Found a Fitbit. 
I don't know if it will still work or not, but it's cool to find that. Um, got a massive horse conch. It's just like probably tied for as big as the other one that I found just recently, maybe like a month ago, but really cool big horse conch and I was chipping away at it with uh, with my pocket knife you could see like how clean it is kind of on the inside right there able to get rid of all a lot of like the crustaceans and stuff that were growing on top of it but that's a really cool find those are cool um, it's a state shell of Florida um, they're relatively common out in the Gulf I mean they're, they're common not relatively common but they're common so cool to find those um, and then the last thing that I thought was interesting was when I was going through all this trash I found, just buckets of trash that I, I put together. Um, I, I found all this in the last two days when I went out. It's just insane. The amount of stuff I came across and was able to pull out of the golf is awesome, but it was so sad. It's so sad to think about all this stuff that people throw away. I mean, just glass and aluminum and... I mean, this netting and stuff the fish could get caught in, and it's all, it's insane, all this trash that people leave. Again, cool to get all this out of the, out of the gulf, but what I was going to say is, the reason I had this up on there was, somebody filled this with, um, with coins to try to sink it, um, so that they could litter it, and it would just sink to the bottom of the ocean floor, and it has, I kept the change in it that it still has in it, but probably like 25 cents worth or something but it's just really sad that people think that that's okay to litter and then to find something like this where i just i just opened it to let the water out of it so i could haul all this home so i could throw it away properly um you know i opened this one and um had the change in it which is just crazy that somebody would sink this to to litter so it's really sad what people do to get rid of their trash. It doesn't make any sense, but found some other cool stuff on a big piece of a horse conch, but it's only like half of one size, one side, I mean. Um, and that would have been, that would have been even, even bigger than I think that one. Maybe the same size, but really big piece of a horse conch. I thought that was cool. Got some pieces of giant cockle, not pieces, but whole pieces of giant cockle these are just clean out again i don't kill or remove any marine life from any of the shells that i keep i only keep the best of the best ones and uh these are really pretty found a bunch of those found one of these i don't know what these are called but these are really pretty on the inside that purple cool like display pieces if you set them up right Got a clamshell. Another clamshell right there. A little piece of coral. <clears throat> and this was already dead, obviously. I just found it collected with a bunch of other shells. Got a piece of a true tulip. Lightning rock. Lightning rock. Got a big lightning rock that was, uh, it's been dead for a long time. You can just see the crap on it, but cool big lightning whelk that's just dead and then more giant cockles another horse cock i found that's actually in pretty good shape it's got the like crustaceans and stuff i gotta see if i could chip that off with like a pocket knife but we'll find right there and then find another pretty big lightning whelk it's in okay shape it's not i'm not gonna keep it for my own collection or anything like that but Cool piece right there. Another piece of a lightning whelk. Big piece of one. More giant cockles. And got another dugong rib bone fragment right there. Lightning whelk. And uh, that's pretty much it. But I think the biggest takeaway from everything I found for the day definitely had to be the trash. All the trash I pulled up. The $20 was pretty cool. And the horse conch was a awesome find but of all the stuff i find it's it's cool to give back to god and serve god by you know cleaning up the environment um and just getting rid of all this trash that people throw in the golf and you know it bounces around in the golf for years i mean this is an old budweiser 
piece of can that's from like the 70s or 80s and so it's just sad to know that this has probably just been tumbling around in the golf for years 40 years 50 years and then just other pieces you can see <clears throat> how it's all just faded off of the aluminum like this may not be that old but i mean it's been tumbling around for a long time in the golf so it's cool to be able to get all that out of the ocean How's it going, everybody? Um, I went back out to Point of Rocks today. Today is Monday. Um, it's so bright out, it's insane. Uh, my eyes hurt from being out in the sun so much, but I went back out today, um, was able to find some cool stuff. Um, mostly just giant cockles and then just a pair of sunglasses and trash. That's that's literally all I found, but it was still fun to get out there. The, the visibility was really good and um, saw some cool fish and some other cool stuff. So I'll show you guys what I found right now. So like I said, found a bunch of giant cockles again, maybe like 10 of them. Um, they're all complete, all clean out. Um, I mean, I gotta clean them out, but like there's no marine life in them or anything like that. Um, cool to find these in the piles when you're out in the Gulf. Um, you can just find them all collected with each other. And then found a pair of funky looking glasses. I don't even know who would wear these, but they're insane. They're just funky looking big glasses. They're girl glasses, I think, but they're definitely weird. Vat, Vot. I don't even know if it's German or something or what's going on, but cool to find those. They're in good shape. And then I found the giant cockles. And then I just found a little bucket, half buckets worth of trash, just aluminum and found another complete beer bottle and just a Gatorade bottle, other pieces of can in there, hat, um, other pieces of plastic and stuff. But Nothing crazy, all I found for the day.